In this lesson, we want to take a look at the layout options for the T4 framework. So you have two options. So you have the options in the back end, and then you have the options. I'm sure you have the options in the front end that you can modify on the back end. Uh, so all of these now, they are connected to the menus here. So let's take a look first in the options here on the front end. So when you put your mouse over here, you notice that you get this drop down with header, header style one, two, three, and four, and you have full width, three columns, sidebar, and this content here. So let's go through each one. So you click on, uh, before we do that, I want you to pay attention to the header. The header is this very top part right where the menu is. So you put your mouse over, let's click on the first one. You notice that the position has changed. Now you have the search right here. You have the menu and you have the logo. So this is option one for maybe you like how this style. Let's go to option two. Option two, now it's reversed. You have just the logo and you have the uh, menu on the right side and you have a header uh, right on here where you can put more content, whether it's like a video, an image, more text. You can utilize this space. Let's check out the third option. Header three, you notice it's in the middle. You have the very text at the very top, the logo, the menu, and more space here for whatever content that you want to put and let's take number four and number four has the logo in the middle has an email has a phone number has the sign in sign up and the login menus and things like that on here and you have once again in the at the bottom here more stuff so let's go over now to the full width with the full width there's no content i'm mean, of course there's content here but you have this full width meaning that this blue section stretches all the way across so this was called like a flat design, but it's a full width. So the stuff is spread all across. Now let's take a look at the three columns. With a three column, you have one column. This here is the highlighted module, the three columns, and the latest post. So you have one, two, and three different columns that you can be able to utilize. So we have a sidebar and the content. You know, it's just a sidebar here, and you have the content on the right. This is another layout that you can use. Once again, the goal of it is they want to give you as many options and flexibility as you need when you're building your site. And then content plus sidebar. So now you have the, this uh, content on the left side and you have the sidebar on the right. So that gives you a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of what you want to do, how you want to do things. So now let's take a look at the back end uh, structure. So the front end here always corresponds with the back end. You see home topography layout, J pages support. When you go on the back and you go to menus and you go to the main menu, you're going to find all that stuff here and you find out what is connected to. So all of these here, this the, uh, the full width, the columns, these are connected to each page and in Joomla pages or in articles. So you see right here where it says single article, that means that this content is coming from the single article from articles and you can you know just click the article to see which one is connected to so that's how the menu structure work uh, on here and next we are going to take a look at the back end navigation and the site settings the themes and all this other cool stuff here